Okay, in this tutorial, I am just going to go over the basics of uh, tracing a picture. I'm going to use just a regular picture that I found on Google and just show you how to uh, basically do a tracing in Silhouette Studio. I believe this is the 4.1 4.1 basic edition. Um, so basically, I just went to Google, downloaded a, a picture. I'm just going to grab one of these pictures. Just I, I'll take her. And I'm going to hold it, the picture, and drag it. Hope it works. Drag it into my Silhouette Studio. And it should be there. Well, Okay, so now I'm going to click on the image and resize it. Okay, that should be good enough. And what I'm going to do is go over to this trace button, click the trace button, and select trace area, click that. Uh, I'm going to select the picture, and as you can see, it's everything that was black, it covered, it uh, kind of turned yellow, which means that's going to be all the picture shows up. I'm going to increase the threshold just a little bit, this is try to catch more of the lip if that's uh, but it's going too far I want to catch more of the lip but not not uh, kind of mess with the eyes I'm going to have to bring it back down he mess with me okay baby he messing with you yeah, tell big brother don't mess with you no mess with me wait up you sleepy let's see We'll just leave it like this just for uh, tutorial purposes. So I'll leave it here, then I'll hit trace because I wanted to cut out the holes in the inside. And then once I hit trace, you'll see you have red line, these red lines over it. So I can move the picture out of the way. And you see we have a pretty, we'll see how perfect the trace is once. I feel it in. All right, not too bad. As you can see, it does not have the nose details and the top of the lip, but I could just add like two little circles to give it a nose. Okay. Uh, wait a minute, Jojo. Oh, baby. So I can add two little micro noses. Take this one and then uh, do it. wait a minute. Open the replicate panel and I'm just tell it to go to the side. And then I'll just scoot it over just a little bit. And what I'm going to do is take those two little circles, group them two together by hitting Control G, and then I'm going to fill them in black. And I will put them on her face. And give her a nose. I'm going to take it down and resize it just a little bit. And center it uh -oh, as best I can. And give her a nose.
And what I like to do is take the red trace off. I don't know, it just irks me to look at the red trace marks. So I just hit this to remove the trace marks and see how it'll look. And not too bad. To make sure it does not mess up, I'll select it all. And then I'll control G or just hit objects group. And there you have it, a perfect trace. And you can add text to it. I'll put like maybe Afro Beauty. And I'll have that in black as well. Uh oh, wait a minute. I have to click it like this in order for it to take on a color. You have to get rid of your dollar sign. And then you can go in, and once you click, click this, you can go in and change the font. I download a lot of fonts to my computers. Ah, uh, that's cute. And then I'll just select all of it. Uh, go here to the transform panel and I'll click this one in the middle so it can be centered horizontally and then I'll hit control G again to center it and bam you have a perfect design you can put it on your t-shirt you can put it on little canvas bags anything you could think of that can get you pressed uh, y'all are ruining my tutorial <laughs> I'm just kidding these are my kids and we have only a few days left before back to school but anyway that is my tutorial on tracing in your silhouette studio basic edition I hope you enjoyed this tutorial come back uh, we'll have one I'll try to do the tutorial and just add on to the complexity and difficulty of each tutorial Maybe two to three times a week. Thank you.